നമസ്കാരം different types of incomes for the purpose of the study of scope of income tax that is incidence of tax upon residential status have you ever seen such incomes are income received in india first one income deemed to be received in india second one income accruing or arising in india third one and income deemed to be accrued or arisen in india for what we saw these four types of income in the last class and for what purpose the incomes are classified into these four groups the classification of the income to four groups for the study of was for the study of the incidence of tax upon residential status the tax liability tax incidence of a person upon income is based upon his residential status we know and through this class now we are discussing which incomes are taxable in the hands of resident and ordinary resident which incomes are taxable in the hands of resident but not ordinary resident and which incomes are taxable in the hands of uh, resident non resident and now we can see uh, one uh, one and one income separately one by one income separately first income income received in india you know when income is received when the recipient get full control on such income if such a recipient get full control on such income at the first instance in india it is income received in india not its further transmission or further apportion if the income is firstly received in india it is taxable in all cases means our resident and ordinary resident resident but not ordinary resident and non resident all these persons are liable to pay tax on income received in india and if an income is received in india its place of accrual is not important for income aadhyamayi first instance le india labikkanengil adu income received in india aanu ellavarum tax adu ഒരു ഇൻകം ഇന്ത്യയിൽ റിസീവ് ചെയ്യുകയാണെങ്കിൽ അതിന്റെ പ്ലേസ് ഓഫ് അക്രൂവൽ നോക്കേണ്ടതില്ല അതുകൊണ്ട് പറഞ്ഞിരിക്കുന്നത് വെതർ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് അക്രൂഡ് ഓർ എറൈസൺ ഇൻ ഇന്ത്യ ഓർ നോട്ട് എ പേഴ്സൺ എംപ്ലോയിഡ് ഇൻ അമേരിക്ക എ പേഴ്സൺ ഈസ് എംപ്ലോയിഡ് ഇൻ അമേരിക്ക ആൻഡ് ഹിസ് പ്ലേസ് ഓഫ് എംപ്ലോയ്മെന്റ് ഈസ് അറ്റ് അമേരിക്ക ആൻഡ് ഇൻ അക്രൂഡ് ഇൻ അമേരിക്ക ആൻഡ് ദാറ്റ് പേഴ്സൺ റിസീവ്ഡ് സച്ച് എ സാലറി ഇൻ ഇന്ത്യ it is taxable in india in all cases dividend from american company dividend from an american company dividend is accrued in america but if a person received such a dividend in india it is taxable in india if an income is received in india its place accrual is not important it is taxable in all cases second you know income deemed to be received in india whether it is accrued in india or not all persons are liable to pay tax on such income in income deemed to be received in india and we can say uh, we can join the first and second point here. first income received second income deemed to be received we can say these two points in one point that is income received or deemed to be received in india it is taxable in all cases in first and second point we can clap together these two points income received and deemed to be received in india it is taxable in all cases whether it is accrued in india or not and the third type of income is income accruing or arising in india when an income is accruing or arising in india if the source of 
such ingam is situated in India, we can say such ingam is accrued or arise in India. If the source of such ingam is situated in India, we can say such ingam is accrued or arise in India. What is ingam in the source? In the Kartan again. I ingam in the arise in the accord. In the Georgino, in the accord in India, Indian company dividend. In the accord in India, India or technology or royalty, in the accord in India, India or capital certificate in the accord in India. And if an income is accrued or arisen in India, it is taxable in all cases, whether it is received in India or not. If an income is accrued in India, its place of receipt is not important. If an income is received in India, its place of accrual is not important. If an income is accruing in India, its place of receipt is not important. In all cases, such income is taxable. And for you know, income deemed to be accruing or arising in India, it is also fully taxable in all cases. We can join together the third point, that is income accruing or arising. And fourth point, income deemed to be accruing or arising into a single point, that is income accruing or arising or deemed to be accruing or arising in India. It is taxable in all cases whether it is received in India or not. And uh, these four incomes, income received in India, income deemed to be received in India, income accruing in India, income deemed to be accruing in India. These four incomes are taxable in all groups. An income which is either received in India or accruing in India, it is taxable in all cases. Then fifth type, fifth income. Income received, see, income received or accrued outside India. Income received outside India, then accrued outside India. From a business or profession, which is controlled from India or set up in India. See, income received outside India, accrued outside India. It is a foreign income. India ke foreign receive chino, India ke foreign accrued chino. Foreign income. A business is situated in Sri Lanka. In every city in the Sri Lanka, India accrued in Sri Lanka, and it is received in Sri Lanka. No relation to India. A profession is set up. A profession is situated in America and income received there. Example, income received and accrued outside India. And that business is controlled from India. Or that profession is set up in India. See, it's a foreign income. Income received outside India, accrued outside India. Such income is from business which is controlled from India or such income from a profession which is set up in India. In this case, our resident and ordinary resident has to pay tax, resident but not ordinary resident has to pay tax and not in the case of non-resident. Non-resident tax are given. When they were the peculiarity, income accrued and received outside India from a business controlled from India, from a profession set up in India. It is taxable in the first two cases, resident and order resident, resident but not order resident, and not taxable in the case of non resident. And the sixth point, in the fifth point, that business is, that business being controlled from India, that profession being set up in India, and in the sixth point, that business is not controlled from India, that profession is not set up in India, pure foreign income, income code out in India, Income received outside India, business controlled from outside India, profession set up in outside India, no connection with India. In such a case, it is taxable only in the hands of resident and order resident. And that two other persons, resident but not order resident and non resident are not liable to pay tax on such income. Income received and accrued outside India for a business or profession which is controlled and therefore which is controlled or set up outside India. India to be bandhu India. President and order of the market accepted. 
Seventh point, any other income. Seventh, sixth point, point is business income. Any any other income which is received out of India, accrued out of India. American company dividend, American children. American jewelry, you know, some of the children. Income received and accrued out of India. Only resident and all resident is taxed. Not in the end of resident but not all resident, not in the end of non resident. Foreign income. For sixth point, foreign income. Resident and all resident is taxed. Seventh point, foreign income. Resident and ordinary person to mark up tax return. At time, there is income on Pariamitla. So, the particular past and tax report. We take the Pathu Valam item, non resident of Videshata. Videshata Angle, Kaila Pathu Valam, I allowed a chair in the King of the Indian tax regular. Kaila Pathu Asha, Inga Code out in India, Inga received out in India. I am non resident of your tax regular. If you are in the area, you will know that you are in the area. This is the same thing. The untaxable income is in the area. The untaxable income is in the area. The untaxable income is in the area. The resident and all the tax. The seventh point is in the area. The eighth point at time the money for the kingdom and past income on okay, the first criteria. that now the first criteria is resident and the order of the resident but not all resident. That's the time to get income received in India, income DMT received in India, income accrued in India, income DMT accrued in India, in the foreign business income or business in the control chain. Anching the banana, number of friend and but not all of the tax available. Not of friend and I go, nine in the room. Income received it, deemed to be received it, accorded, deemed to be accorded. In nine in the new remark, make no non present tax return. Country, just in this. On the income received or deemed to receive it, then the income accruing of a reason or deemed to be accrued a reason in India, third, income accrues or a reason. To him, how is it? Resident a line is in that. Indian in Gaikota, four in the mind. Not a resident are again. Are they the other group? Are they a and the group? Are they B and the group? Code are they? Are business income in their control chain? Nothing would be not on the same tax. Not a resident are in India, in the future, in the accurate chain, you are not on the same tax. So, he class loaded. Resident in the king is in tax regular. Not total resident in the king is in tax regular. Non resident in the king is in tax regular. This is the scope of income tax. For incidents of tax upon residential status. So, thank you.